Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, a day in which I have not adorned myself with my accoutrement because I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm still hacking and coughing. I didn't sleep wonderfully last night. I supped as well as I could for, you know, being sick. I wasn't hacking and coughing, but my body, oh, when I hurt, woke up, I hurt so bad. But I took two CBD oil capsules, two THC capsules before I went to bed. CBD capsules, CBD oils, the CBD parts of the cannabinoids are apparently not so good for nerve pain. I have a lot of nerve pain. In fact, I have massive amounts of nerve damage throughout my body. So, CBD oil by itself, not wonderful. THC by itself, good, but doesn't do everything. CBDs, good, but don't do everything. Put them together, and the wide spectrum covers just about everything. So CBD oil with THC and the other cannabinoids, put those together, I slept well. I know I said I didn't sleep well, because I actually didn't sleep well, because I never sleep well. I slept well for me, but it took forever to fall asleep. And then when I did wake up, it was more flip-flopping, flip-flopping. But it was about four hours of sleep. So while that's not good, that's also good. So I'm caught in the, it's, it's like Schrodinger's sleep patterns. You know, they're both good and not good at the same time. <laughs> uh, I've still been hacking and coughing to a small degree. My nose has still been running, just not as bad. My throat doesn't hurt as much, but I still feel run down and sore. I mean, I still went for a walk last night, went walkies all the way up to Walmart, six mile round trip, and it was good. I'm glad I did it, but boy, when I got back, I was dead. I was just dead, worse than usual. I mean, I'm run down. I don't have as much as I used to have back before I got sick a couple days back, so. I mean, you gotta do things. You gotta exercise. Exercising helps keep your immune system up. So even though you may compromise your immune system by going out and doing stuff, you're also bolstering your immune system by going out and doing stuff. Thumbs up for that. Oh, what was the thing I was going to say? Shucks darn. I was just thinking of something and it's kind of, oh yes, and it's because yesterday I had an early morning appointment. Originally, it was an afternoon appointment, but the denturist had to reschedule. And so I was calling up to find out the exact time, and they said, we need to reschedule. So yesterday at 9.30, which is why all my videos were late yesterday, I went into the denturist so I could have the upper plate relined to make it fit. Now, what that means is they just take your denture, they grind out, and it's not just, they've got machines that take the stuff out. The previous remains of the soft liner because it dries out and it gets smaller. It shrinks. It gets worn down so that in time, because of your changing structure of your mouth and the deterioration of the soft liner, they don't fit anymore. So they take that, grind the stuff out, fill it with the wet glop that needs to set, and then slap it in your mouth, and then you hold it in there for 10 minutes. Now, when I went in there to get this upper plate done, because that's all I could afford, and I'm kind of uh, iffy about that one still. But I went in there to get that done. He asked me how this one was doing. I said, it, it doesn't fit at all. I mean, because it didn't. And so what he did was he just took pity on me, and he said, well, tell you what let's get that lower one done too now unfortunately when they put the glop in and then you set them into your mouth you got to sit there for 10 minutes like like this but at the same time with all the chemicals I still needed to swallow a fair amount and stuff I was salivating like crazy after a time I just tilted my head forward so I wouldn't be swallowing so much because each time you swallow it moves the tissues in your mouth which moves the tissues of your gums which makes the impression not accurate <clears throat> so my lower plate is about 95 percent fit which is good because it was only about 20 percent fit before 
and now my upper plate is like at 99% fit. So good deal. And it cost me just the cost of getting the upper plate done. So they may not be the best denturous. They may not have the best reputation. They may not have had some of the best denturous and, and dentists working there. I've had some really bad experiences with some of the dentists they've had in the past. But I really can't complain. I mean, they, they've done me as good as they can. So definitely a thumbs up on that. I mean, unlike the bankruptcy lawyer that I hired a couple years back, who screwed me hard. So thumbs up on that. Joy. But such is life. So, you know, it's once again, I'm very sorry as well. I mean, little Gojira is asleep in her mason jar. And little Dust Mop is asleep on the other side of his cage. Dr. Snurf is asleep on the other side of his cage. Little Thigmo is asleep down there. And of course, little Saber slash Cream in her cage against the wall is asleep. I mean, hamsters are most active during either they're just straight out nocturnal or they are mostly active during the hours of dusk and dawn. And then they just sleep most of the time. That's why little Gojira is so odd in that she just wanders around all times of the day. I mean, I never know. Right now she's sleeping. Well, actually she's not. She's moving around and grooming herself inside of her mason jar. But I never know when she's going to be up and moving around. And then last night she was just so super cute. She was up and running around doing her little hamster things. And then she just curled up into a little tennis ball right out in the open just right out in the open and went to sleep and so she was just a little tennis ball and and she looked literally like a tennis ball that's the that's the nice thing about hamsters they're so cute that way with their stocky little bodies i mean they really do look like little bears they have little bear bodies and they look like little bears and they're big fat and dumpy and they go boom 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 boom, boom when they're walking around and even when they're trying to be quick and move fast with their little backsides a wibble wobbling as they run. They're just, they're awesome. They're wonderful beyond words. Now they say always put a cage, a cage, always put a lid on your bin cage. And that's the smartest thing to do. I mean, hokey smokes. Hamsters are like any other creature that's not been evolved to be a pet. They're our escape artists. They need to survive. So if they can find any way to get out, no matter how unlikely the chain of events for them to do things to get out, they will. They will. You may lose them for a couple days, but generally every hamster I've lost, I found. And I've read other people and watched their stories, and they've generally always found their hamsters because hamsters are curious. When I lived in my brother-in-law's garage, there were so many places hamsters could get lost because I only had one room out of a scattering of rooms downstairs and there were huge places that were just filled up with junk because he had a computer store but he still stored his stuff in the garage and all that stuff was in the garage and I just had one room of it and so there was a lot of places a hamster could go because it was a garage filled with junk. One of my hamsters got out. But because I and the people who were going to become my housemates were there, we made noise. Instead of being freaked out by it, the little hamster was investigating. And we just didn't look when the little nose came out from underneath something and entered the room. Just ignored it and it came in to investigate and then arr, got it. So they're curious creatures. They want to know things. Definitely a thumbs up. Oh, there was another thing as well. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. And it was something I wanted to talk about, too. Shucks, if I can remember, then hopefully I'll be able to remember. If not, then I won't. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Good golly, Miss Molly. That is really annoying that I've forgotten it, too. 
it was something that I wanted to talk about, something akin to like the the whole hamster situation or something that I wanted to remember to mention. But now I've forgotten it entirely, which is annoying. Almost as annoying as the asymmetrical, that's the word, bone loss. Because this side here has more bone loss than this side. And so my, my cheeks, because of my my bone loss here is not symmetrical. Such is life. Oh, it's just irritating me to no end because it was a heavy duty thing I wanted to talk about as well. Very, oh, maybe part of it, it yes, in fact, I just now remembered. So my sincere apologies. There is still the spider up there. And when I came in this morning, she was pretty active. She was working on her web and moving around up there. And she was really being able to range far. You know, she's up in the juncture between wall and ceiling. And she's got a, a little orb here. But she was really like ranging out here when this morning when I was looking. And finally, I thought, you know what? I bet. So I swept my hand over the top of the monitors and boink. I hit a big old guideline that was coming down onto my main monitor right here, real close to where the webcam is. Now, I don't mind her being up there. I've become rather affectionate feeling towards her. I, uh, I like her. Uh, we're, I'm a human being. I have developed a parasocial relationship with a spider up there that I have affection for it now. And I want it to be as happy and as healthy as possible. But when I hit the guideline, it was like, no, I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry. You, know, you can be up there, but... And then grabbed and toink. And then, of course, the web went and partial collapse up top. And she kind of sulked for a long time. Just moved up into the far part, part of her web and then kept her legs tucked in tight and then just sat there and didn't move for a long time. Now, I know it wasn't really sulking. It was more like, don't move, and the whatever horrible big thing that's out there, maybe it won't see me and kill me. And I know they're not thinking that. It's, it's just instinct, but still. But she was working on her web. She's repaired it some. It's, I can't tell how big of an orb it is. It's not very big, maybe like this big. But she's back up and sitting in the middle of it, and it's up in the juncture, like right here. So, oh, excuse me. So I think it's a very good thing. I just have lost my arachnophobia almost entirely. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be able to like reach down and pick up a big spider. I mean, I'm never gonna be able to do that. I don't pick up beetles. I don't pick up centipedes. I don't pick up pill bugs. I don't pick up bugs. I'm not a frightened, a frightened of them. I'm not afraid of them. It's just, I am fastidious. I am, I don't like touching things. I have mental issues from my, my upbringing. My parents, my mother, was very hands-off. She was not touchy-feely. I had a very distant childhood that way. And it's affected me even now. So I don't like touching. I'm not touchy-feely. I don't like to, to touch things. I don't like getting things on me. I don't like getting things on my face. That's why back when I had teeth, I hated to eat things like corn on the cob because you can get it on your face and ugh, I don't like that. So yeah, I don't like, I'm never going to be the point where I'll be picking up spiders because even if I wasn't arachnophobic, I wouldn't be picking up spiders. Bad enough <laughs> for my fastidiousness <clears throat> that I pick up hamsters because they're covered in, in bedding. And, you know, they're, they use a corner of their cage for urination and they don't bother being fastidious at all about their droppings because they're very clean and very compact. So they just fling their little droppings everywhere and they don't even bother. They don't care. They'll sleep in them. They'll little Gojira here. I noticed when she was digging through her fruit food pile looking for stuff to eat because she was just looking for something to eat. I feed them on a daily basis, no fear. But she was storing both food 
and droppings in the same place. And I've noticed other hamsters do that too. As well as this one hamster who would always, I had a silent wheel, which was just a, a wheel, just a plastic wheel, but he would always get into his wheel, store his food there, but he would also pee in the wheel and then run. So his food would be soaked in urine. But if I ever moved it or got rid of it, he got pissed off. If I moved it out of the wheel, he'd pick it up and put it back in the wheel so he could run with it. And he still ate it. So, I don't know. Hamsters are weird. All living creatures are weird. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. This time I actually did it on time beforehand. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. It is a range because even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, brain damage from alcoholism and more, and excuse me. I have memory issues. And if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker and I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thumbs up each one I do. Answer as many as I can. Right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, or a different comment. The fact is, you took the time. You left me a comment. Thank you so very much. Now, this one has a lot of, like, uh, accents and other things. So, it's like, Isao Negar. I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. And Lucy Pogson, greatly appreciated. J.R. Rosales, 100, thumbs up and thank you. And Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Lloyd Mungo, thumbs up and thank you very much. Kathy Kitzkat, oh, pneumonia sucks bad, but hey, good deal. And thank you very, very much. And Zidappi, thank you very, very much. Ken James Jr., greatly appreciated. Mighty Sauce with a one for an I and an E, no, a three for an E. And then we have seven six, <laughs> thumbs up and thank you. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Alberta Morale two, thumbs up and thank you. 365 days, greatly appreciated. And then we have Jay Swift, thumbs up and thank you. Hank Hill, thumbs up. Colin Reisenauer, greatly appreciated. Darth Magnusi, I'm nowhere close, but thank you very much. Baby Bat Plays, thumbs up and thank you. I Will Miss You Though, greatly appreciate it. Crafter1246, thumbs up and thank you. And Dope, greatly appreciate it. Zal's Fighter, greatly appreciate it and thank you very much. And then Type, thumbs up and thank you very much. Dead Spite, greatly appreciate it. And last but not least, Confused Owl 29 thumbs up and thank you all so much. You get me out of my head. This one right here, into the world and dealing with real people, it is greatly appreciated. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. I am always, always on the edge of financial ruin, and I don't want to become homeless. If you can help, that would be awesome. But, if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart, where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up, and if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Definitely a thumbs up. Well, hokey smokes. Well, once again, I've got this wrapped up really quick. <clears throat> so son of a gun I guess I'll just cut this one short today well how about that so I've got this video I'm going to record a video for later today hopefully get a song mutilation done it's been a while since I've done one and I, uh, but I've also been really sick and run down even now I don't feel wonderful so yay hopefully in a couple more days I'll be back up to well as close to perfect as, as I ever get so, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. So, take care. And, uh, yeah, thumbs up for that.